I want to do a quick review of Urban Carry's G3 holster. The concept of this holster is it puts the firearm well below your waistband, so the thickness under your waistband is relatively thin, but you have easy access by pulling it up. I believe this image is from Urban Carry's website. You can see that when you pull the holster up, it presents the weapon for easy access. You'll see in this review that many of my images are based on measuring the thickness of the holster and later compared to a normal holster. My desire was to make the thickness under my belt as thin as possible to make it comfortable, and thus the Urban Carry seemed to make sense. In this case, you'll see that the empty Urban Carry holster is about one and a half inches thick. In this image, you'll see that the G3 holster is made up of five layers of leather, a magnet, and a metal clasp. Basically, your belt runs through the metal clasp. The magnet portion folds over and attaches to the metal clasp. When you want to pull the holster up to present the firearm, you grab where the ma magnet is and pull straight up. The firearm and the main part of the holster slip under your belt up and out. I suggest you go to the Urban Carry website, look at the numerous photos and videos, as well as the help videos to show how this holster works and how it looks uh, both when it's deploying the weapon and when it's uh, a hidden. But basically there's a portion outside of the belt. Um, in this case, it's the metal clasp and the magnet area. And then there's a portion that goes under the belt and uh, into the pants. And then there's a portion that's under your pants and under your belt uh, and where the main portion of the holster and the weapon reside. So this image shows the holster I bought, which is a trooper holster. I believe it's the second to the smallest holster. I have a uh, Sig Sauer P938. The SAS basically means there's no metal sights. And it seems to fit this holster quite well. It snaps in well. Um, I'm a little suspicious that the holster was undersized for uh, this weapon. But checking with their customer service, they said, no, this was the correct size holster. As I mentioned, my SIG fit pretty well into the holster and clipped in fine. This is a picture of my pistol inside the holster. As you can see, the total thickness is about two and a quarter inches and under the belt is about slightly more than one and a half inches thick. This is my SIG in the holster just flipped over. You can see the thickness is between two and a quarter and two and a half inches. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the G3 holster empty with the standard holster that I normally use to carry my SIG. If the G3 holster had the SIG in it, it would be about three quarters of an inch thicker than what it is here in the picture. And having the thicker G3 really negates my reason for buying it. I was looking for something thinner at the belt line, and in the end, it ends up being thicker at the belt line than my standard holster. In summary, as I mentioned, the G3 holster was thicker at the belt line than what I wanted. A larger holster may allow the weapon to drop further down my pant leg and made the belt line uh, thinner. However, this trooper size holster, um, according to Urban Carry's customer service, is the correct size for this pistol. So I ended up returning the holster to Urban Carry. They refunded the purchase price, uh, but not the original shipping cost. Uh, I would buy another product from Urban Carry based on the quality of the holster as well as uh, the responsiveness of their customer service. This page and the next are merely the instructions that come with the G3 holster. Thank you very much for watching the review.